A few days ago the cabinet for my Mojo Tone Champ arrived and mind you I couldn't resist putting the chassis in the case and having a play. So today being Good Friday and as you can hear on the roof of the um, veranda it's raining so I'm going to get myself busy, undo my hard work, pull out the chassis, take off every little bit of trimming on here and whatnot. Mix up some nitrocellulose lacquer and um, lacquer this thing up and document it for your entertainment. Give you something to do should you be bored. Alright, let's go. Alright, here it is. I've got the back off. You can see the Mojo Tone speaker mounted in there. And um, one thing you'll probably notice, I'm going to have to shorten that cable, which is no really big deal. Because it looks ugly at the moment and I'm pedantic. So anyway, let's remove the guts. Alrighty, now the entire cabinet is stripped. Everything has been taken out. Chassis, grill, whatnot. See? Now to mix up some nitrocellulose lacquer. Okay, to make nitrocellulose lacquer, well, there's an easy way you can buy nitrocellulose lacquer. I didn't. I got myself a whole bunch of nitrocellulose pearls, which I ordered from an eBay seller in the UK. What it basically is, it's, well, it's nitrocellulose. Obviously you can't paint that on as is, so you mix it with acetone. What do you mix it in? An old jam jar, which used to house strawberry jam. Now, what I usually do, I um, put in some of the pearls, add the acetone into the jam jar, and then wait for it to somewhat dissolve. After that, I've got this little bent coat hanger type thingy, which I hook up to an electric drill and mix the living snot out of it. Once it's all mixed in, I paint it on. So, here we go. Prills in the jam jar, half filled with um, acetone. Let's give it about 15 minutes and come back and see how it goes. If anything, I need a coffee or something. It'll give me an excuse to sit around for a bit. See ya. Alright, about 10 minutes have passed and you can sort of see the prills have sort of swelled up and absorbed some of this acetone. I think it's about ready for me to mix. Looks like it's the consistency of snot. So here we go, I've got the drill with the bent coat hanger. I'll whip it up. Blech. It's probably a bit boring to watch, so I'll just cut to the chase when this is ready. Getting close there, it's almost done. Give it some more time. I've been going at this for probably about ten another ten minutes. I added a bit more acetone in there, but Oh well, bit of work, it's gonna pay out, alright. Well here we are, it's mixed through, almost made a massive mess of it all when the um, drill got stuck on for some abstract reason, but then again that's what I get for using a cheap crappy budget drill. Anyway, it's um, all mixed up, doesn't appear to have any prills left, oh, maybe just a smidge at the bottom, but I'll start with the little easy bits there. Looks rather thick, but you know, it may get milky, but there's a cure for that, as we may see. Alright. Alrighty, here it is. Uh, it's um, slowly drying. You probably notice that it's got a bit of a milky residue, but I'll be fixing that because I'll be going over it with some acetone, which would even it out. It's spread on rather thick looks about as unprofessional as something I just can't be bothered thinking of at the moment. But, yeah, let's give it about 10 minutes and I'll go over it with acetone and we'll see how it looks like after that. So here we are in the sun, it's lacquered and done and appears to be alright. So, no more milkiness, probably one or two small spots but Really, in the grand scheme of things, who cares? Something like that. 
Alright, on with the next part. This is the next bit I'm talking about. Yes, I'm sticking a Fender badge on it. Which um, ultimately makes this a fake. Well, it is a fake Fender, it's not a real Fender. I bought it from Mojo Tone after all, but I'm pedantic. I'd like to think it's a Fender. Anyone with um, any knowledge will know that it's not, considering the Mojo Tone case is a bit bigger to accommodate larger speakers, more modern speakers. And I'm not going to sell it, so, um, and even if I do sell it, I will sell it as a fake and promptly say so. So, whoever's watching this, don't sue me. I ain't got money, you're not going to get anything from me except your own self-satisfaction of being a git. <laughs> it also goes without saying that while I got the thing open, I may as well initial and date it. So, yeah. Definitely not a fender. Okay? Okay. Okay, here it is, all mounted and complete. The speaker cable has been short shortened. Um, we've got the General Electric 5Y3 GT, the RCA 6V6 GT. Unfortunately, the Helicrafters one, which I believe was a Sylvania, was a bit microphonic. Um, it's tended to howl when I turned up the volume, probably because it's in close proximity of the speaker. So instead, I got a, a Russian tongue sole, which I had lying about, which is not a bad, not a bad little valve, but um, I'm going to put the back on, and we'll have a look at the front and see how it looks like overall, shall we? And there's the front, lacquered and complete. Um, my right arm is sore from screwing in the back, which is over there. The bloody long screws. So I'm going to give myself a rest while this thing warms up in the bungalow, and then you can hear it. So. Here I am in my dim bungalow again. I've um, got the camera perched on a couple of wah-wahs as opposed to sticking it on a sticking on a tripod because I'm lazy. But it's been warming up long enough now. Obligatory red Les Paul sparkle top. Usually amp stop at 10, but this being the Fender Tweet, it actually goes up to 12. Um, no pedals, no nothing, just um, guitar straight into the amplifier. The 18 speaker sounds decent enough to me, I reckon. stuff up.
uh, enough Nugent for today. Um, well, considering what these things set up, it'll be a bit silly if I actually don't try it with a Fender, considering there's probably a hell of a lot of Fender players out there. My good old Japanese Blue Floral Stratocaster with 69 Custom Shop pickups. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. <laughs> That's at about five on the bridge pickup, of course. Middle pickup. Maybe I should have tuned this thing up better, but hell. Neck pickup. Neck and middle. Middle and bridge. Uh, yeah, well, that sounds like a clean fender, doesn't it? But we don't want to hear it clean. Wow, that is sharp. Um, now, where was I before someone decided to walk in the room and interrupt me? Okay. Uh, knobs on four. Very trebly. Um, I suppose these things aren't designed to um, run so high. Um, having sort of less toppy pickups like P90s um, is a bit more suited for that sort of high volume. Well, you can always stand to the side as opposed to right in front of the amplifier, but um... Well, the neck pickup sounds a hell of a lot better at high volumes. so um, I'm not really used to this, this guitar but then again I'm probably considered shit by most standards but that's not the important part I'm having fun so um, rule one some new guitarists get a bit how should I say uptight a bit worried it's like oh, I'm not a good guitarist blah 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 or I'm a bad bass player or, I'm a bad drummer or, I'm a bad keyboardist doesn't matter what people think of you as long as you're having fun that's the most important thing you can be second rate, you can be great. Um, as long as you don't have your head up your ass, it doesn't matter. Enjoy yourself, and that's the most important thing about playing an instrument. Because sometimes, <laughs> depending on the music you play, especially if it's prog rock or psychedelia, you're not going to pick up chicks with it. Don't play an instrument to pick up chicks. Play it because you love it, and don't care what people think. So, anyway, back to where I was. Yes, I've got a Stratocaster. So anyway, you're probably getting sick of hearing me, so I'm going to leave you with that. And um, it's a good amp. 